<clears throat> Hi. Hi guys. <laughs> Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome to my bedroom for a little self-care Sunday. Hello. Hi. I'm very aware that it's been like a month since I last did one of these. Um, but I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. So we're going to do a little bit of DIY. And then after I've done that, um, I was going to look at some questions that people had sent me from earlier. Mainly the questions that like a lot of people asked. Um, but yeah, should we do some DIY? If you want to write this down, please feel free. Um, or I'll just save the live so that you can go back and have a look. And you can auto. I literally have my cup of Kenko. <laughs> I'm using Kenko. Um, so what I thought was, because we're all in lockdown, you know, everyone's looking for things to do. Um, and I thought that this might be quite a cute um, thing to do while you're in lockdown, you know. So um, <laughs> let's get started. Thanks, guys. I've just put some eyelashes on for the occasion. Okay, so I've got my bowl. <laughs> Can you hear the um, the tunes, by the way? I've just got my relaxing meditation on in the background. So what I'm going to make first is a, a coffee body scrub. And the reason why it's a coffee one, um, a few people actually mentioned cellulite to me earlier, um, saying that they see more of it in their bodies or whatever. Um, and I struggle, not struggle with it. Um, I have cellulite, you know, it's very natural. It's not unhealthy. It's just a thing. And it can be a number of things that give you cellulite, but it's nothing to be ashamed of. It's our bodies, you know, but having said that, this does help. So we're gonna start with the coffee body scrub. The reason it's coffee helps with cellulite. Oh. It's quite a meditational sound. So um, these are coffee granules. Um, so you want one cup of coffee granules. This I'm making quite a big batch here. So um, if you're a boy, of course you can still do this. It's a very gender neutral Instagram live. Help yourself, please. So one cup of coffee granules then we're gonna put in um quarter cup of sugar um you can use different types of sugar depends how much you want a scrub um so this is brown sugar which is really soft so it's not going to give you too much of a scrub because with the coffee granules as well having really like coarse sugar is not going to be that helpful so quarter cup of brown sugar in there as well i love that i'm doing this in my bedroom i'm going to make such a mess okay then we're going to put in half a cup of coconut oil you probably want a liquid coconut oil i've got the wrong coconut oil right here but you can get coconut oil from holland and barrett um you can also get it from the supermarket this one's from sainsbury's but it's quite a um it's quite thick like it's not liquidy so you probably want a more liquid oil you can also use um almond oil grapeseed oil you can use olive oil but I wouldn't recommend olive oil because it can get pretty, um, can clog up your pores quite badly. I could melt the coconut oil, yes. The only thing is if it's already in a liquid form, it will stay in that form. Whereas this is going to harden um, once I've made it. Um, 
This is not my go-to coconut oil, but it's all I had to work with for now. So yeah, guys, I'm making such a mess here, um, which is great. I should have thought this through, but it's okay. Do you know what? I'm gonna leave the coconut oil because I can't get it out. Um, and I'm gonna go for a different oil instead. Let me just clean my hands. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, I'm just gonna use a different oil instead for now for the purposes of the video. I can't get into it. It's going really well for me. It's going really, really well for me. So you wanna um so I'm just gonna go back for anyone who is late. Um I'm making a coffee body scrub. So I've got one cup of coffee granules in there. I've got a quarter cup of brown sugar, but you can use different sugars. It doesn't matter. Um, but I don't want mine to be too harsh of a scrub. Um, so yeah, we're just going to put some of this oil in here, which will be a quarter cup. I reckon that's enough of that. Okay, and then I'm going to add a tablespoon of ground cinnamon. The reason why I'm going to put cinnamon in there is because it's a really good antioxidant. Um, and you just want one and a half tablespoons of cinnamon. You don't have to put that in there. The oil that I've used, I did just use um, extra virgin olive oil. Like I said, I wouldn't recommend using extra virgin olive oil, but you can. It's totally fine. But it also depends on your skin type. I don't want people coming back to me and saying that they've come out in loads of spots because that would be terrible. So, you know, use what you think is going to be good for your body. I'm not going to eat any cinnamon because that would be horrific. I'm now going to put in a tablespoon of vanilla extract mainly because it just makes it smell really nice okay so that's gone in there just gives it a really really lovely lovely smell and then the last thing i'm gonna put in there is some grapefruit essential oils this bit is totally optional. I like to put grapefruit in because um, it's really good for cellulite again. And it just basically the coffee and the grapefruit, they help diminish cellulite by improving the, um, the micro circulation of the epidermis, which is the outer three layers of your skin. So I'm going to go and put like 10 to 15 drops Eight, nine, ten. Also, grapefruit goes really, really well with coffee. That smells amazing. Now, the best thing to do would be to get your hands in there. Oh, is that quite... That's a nice sound. Oh, yeah. Someone asked 10 to 15. <laughs> you can't see it. Okay. It's just here. It looks really gross. But... It doesn't have an expiration date, no. So what I like to do is I put it in a mason jar with a sealable lid. So I'll show you. So this kind of thing, which seals it up nice and tight. But I say it doesn't have an expiration date. I use this twice a week. So it goes pretty quickly, but you can use it whenever you like. You will notice if you leave it too long that it might start to solidify and then you don't really want to use that because it would be pretty gross. But smells sen 
sensational oh my god and that's basically that's basically it so ingredients are one cup of coffee granules a quarter cup of sugar half a cup of oil so coconut oil almond oil grapeseed oil um a tablespoon of cinnamon 10 to 15 drops of essential oils and you can put any essential oils in you want you don't have to put essential oils in it smells really good on its own anyway um and then also if you want you can put some vanilla extract in there as well okay and that's it basically if you want to get your hands in there i'm not going to do that right now because i will make too much of a mess is there a right or wrong way to use a body scrub no but um don't go in there too hard also don't use it like every day um I wouldn't use this on your face either um but yeah i think i think at least once a week is really good for a body scrub um it just makes you feel really good right so there's that really easy so i'm gonna move that aside now and fill up my jar later oh, it smells like buttery toast oh my god really great thrilled okay so now we're gonna move on to the peppermint Shh. now we're gonna move on to um the peppermint foot scrub so i'm just gonna get another bowl um i think it's really good to massage <laughs> massage your feet and the reason why it's peppermint is because um, peppermint is really good. It's got like a cooling factor in it. So it's really good for like those achy dancer feet or if you were stood up all day um, because that's what your job entails or you just want to just want to take some care of your feet, you know, why not? OK, so peppermint foot scrub here we go so one cup of sugar or epsom salts i'm gonna use epsom salts because i love them and i always put them in my bath so one cup of epsom salts i actually filling this cup up in my bedroom i just poured it all over my dressing table i'll clean that up later okay so one cup of epsom salts and then you're going to want to put half a cup of coconut oil or olive oil in there olive oil is cool because feet you know let's just measure that out before we make an absolute mess everywhere figure skating feet yeah ballet feet someone who just so sorry <laughs> someone who's on their feet all day oh yeah that's a lot of oil okay great now that's in there and then we're gonna put like 10 to 15 drops of peppermint oil in there too oh. five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 drops of peppermint. Please do not get this anywhere near your eyes. It will burn like hell. Um, and that is literally it. So Epsom salts or sugar, olive oil or coconut oil. I'm a big fan of coconut oil because it just makes your body feel so good so good so all the way with the coconut oil just cleaning up after myself there um 
and then your peppermint in there and then if you want you could put some green food coloring in there as well this is what it looks like right now it doesn't look very nice i would highly recommend using coconut oil though where's my spoon gone okay and then we're gonna mix that up i forgot to bring up another spoon so <gasps> This is a total ASMR, isn't it? Can you hear that? That sounds really, really great. Oh my God. Yes, guys. Oh, that's gonna be a lovely scrub. I can't wait to use that later. Um, and then I just put this one in a little jar like this with a little lid um and i use i actually do my foot scrub every day so um so great so great um don't eat any of these guys I would highly recommend that you don't eat them um and that's that basically that's basically what I wanted to show you uh, I will put the recipes on my story and um, so you can go ahead and make them yourselves um, I also think as well making your own face scrubs and body scrubs is really good because you know exactly what you're putting into them whereas if you go to a shop and pick up you know a facial scrub or a body scrub it's not necessarily going to be really great for your voice for your voice <laughs> so sorry it's not necessarily going to be really great for your skin um and i think that's why it's really cool to make your own and also you can you know you don't you can make it how you want it to be for you so i will put those recipes on my story and yeah if you want to see any more of those then um please let me know i might try to do a face scrub at some point because i think that's really cool um i also really want to to make like bath bombs and stuff like that so i'll have a look into those um and yeah we can we can play around with those things so i asked earlier if anyone oh my days i asked earlier if anyone had sort of like any self-helpy questions or anything like that um, so I've gone with the, the main things that came up. Um, so quite a few people have asked me about motivation during lockdown. Um, I've had some really, really tough days during lockdown, um, where I've just not wanted to get out of bed. I've not wanted to talk to anyone, um... I've not wanted to see anyone. I just wanted to be left alone. Um, and that's that's totally fine. I think you, I don't think, I know that you can have those days. You're allowed to, you need some time for yourself. Um, so never feel guilty for wanting to have a day away. Um, also, in terms of finding motivation, I find it really helpful. Um, if I plan my day the night before, um, not like solidly, but if I'm like, okay, tomorrow I'm going to clean the house, then I know that when I wake up, I'm in the mood to do that. It doesn't work for everyone, but that's just me personally. Also, someone introduced me to this really cool thing where you write a list and it has three columns and in one column you write something that you have to do that day, so like a chore or something. 
and then another column is things that you something that you like want to do so it's just two columns and the other column is um something that's like fun like draw or read or um you know paint sing write a song just like random things and then you just go down the list and you pick two things for that day and also if you want to exercise you can maybe put another column that has like do 10 sit-ups do 10 press-ups um, hold the plank for 30 seconds and then you just have like three little things that you can look at and go right I'm going to do that that and that today and if that's all you do all day that's so fine so fine and you might discover that you find things that you didn't realize you liked doing I've taken up macrame <laughs> whilst in lockdown um, which I love doing and actually it's pretty easy I'll show you this was my first piece of macrame that I made during lockdown and it took me like a whole day to do it um, but I just found it so incredibly calming once I got the hang of it um, to do that so you know finding a new skill as well can actually be quite motivating so yeah I hope that answered people's questions it's, it's a hard question because everyone um everyone runs differently so yeah that's that one um someone's asked me about um i have quite a lot of messages about social media um and how to deal with it if you're feeling shitty um social media can be a very very horrible horrible place to be and I think it's very important that you take time for yourself to maybe for a couple of days, don't look at any social media, um, especially with everything that's happening in the world right now. Um, when the whole, when the protests were going on regarding Black Lives Matter, um, I went into a very, very dark hole and I had to just take a step back from social media because it wasn't doing my mental health any good. Um, and I think it's really important that you can learn to recognise that in yourself. Also, another thing with social media is if you go through your Instagram page and you see things that make you feel bad like you see a picture of someone and you're like oh my god I I don't look like that like that makes me feel like shit then unfollow that page if you think that someone I don't have anyone in my Instagram that I follow that I don't know um that posts pictures of themselves and they've like manipulated photographs to look a certain way I think it's really awful and I went through my social media and removed anyone that did that or that wasn't like real i try very hard when i post pictures i try very hard i don't try at all when i post pictures i don't manipulate my pictures yeah they might have a filter on there but i don't contort my body to look a certain way um yes of course there's things in um lighting there's also the way that you stand in photos also helps i really want to do um, a live where I talk about that on how um, you can manipulate your body with how you stand in a photo. You don't have to go into Facetune and tuck in little bits because also people that know you know that that's not real. And they're like, you don't look like that in real life. Um, so I make a conscious effort to not do that because that would be embarrassing for you personally so I would say if you go through your Instagram and you see things that don't look real um unfollow get rid don't do it do not do it because some body types that are on Instagram are just not attainable at all they're not real and it's never going to happen and also a thing I had to come to terms with was the fact that I could literally starve myself and I would never look like some of these models because that's just not how my body's meant to be. And I know how my body's meant to be and I've embraced that now. 
and I hope at some point that you all can too. It's like my mission to like help everyone just like love their bodies um, because it's just so amazing. The human body is just beautiful in every way and I think it should be celebrated and um, I think that's really, really important. Um, but that's for another, that's for another life. Um, so yeah, um, and another thing I wanted to talk about briefly was um, mindfulness. I've been looking into mindfulness a lot lately. Um, and I think it's really important whilst in lockdown to have some mindfulness about you. Things can get on top of you and everything can seem a little bit overwhelming. And I think if you can just take a minute, maybe every other hour, every hour if you can, um, to just stop, like whatever it is you're doing, just stop and close your eyes and just breathe. And just think, what am I doing right now? Focusing on like that specific thing that you're doing, whether it's just having a cup of tea or whether you're reading a book or whatever it is you're doing, just to stop and reset yourself a minute. I have this tendency to, I have too many things going on in my head at the same time, which is not helpful for anyone because you're never gonna get anything done. Um, so I have to make sure that I try really hard to just focus on the thing at hand. Like, yeah, I have all those other things I need to deal with, but right now, this is what I'm doing. Nothing else matters. This is what I'm doing right now. Um, Sometimes you do just need to stop and assess the situation. And it can feel so good to just do that. Um, Rasheen, yes. That's really great. I love that. If you want to, you can totally set your alarm like once an hour on the hour. And just for a minute, just be, just be. And I promise you, your brain will thank you for it, 100%. Um, yeah, so I didn't really plan on talking much today because I was going to do the DIY, um, but that didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. So I haven't really like prepared stuff to um, s talk about. Um, but I definitely want to do more of these because I feel like a lot of people benefit and that makes me really happy. Um, I've not cried today, which is good. Uh, I usually do cry on these lives because um, I feel very passionate about um, making sure everyone feels good in themselves. Um, yeah. And I hope... I could put a smile on your face this evening and um, if you could for me before you go to bed just look in the mirror give yourself a smile say my beautiful <laughs> and really mean it really mean it and take some time for yourself it's really important um, don't put too much pressure on yourselves just be, just be. Love you all very, very much. Take care of yourselves, okay? Good night.